Welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. As you could hopefully tell, this is not my voice. I didn't feel like recording with my microphone today. And this voice is pretty wicked. Plus I can make it have funny accents. Subscribe to Crypto14 for more videos. Anyway, today I'm going to show you my random binary number generator. I'm using my virtual computer with a whopping 3 kilobytes of RAM, and a 9 meter display. Now, by clicking the buttons on my oversized mouse I am able to generate random numbers in binary. If you are able to determine what the numbers represent in base 10 in your head, well that's good for you and you deserve a sticker. But no one likes a show off. The redstone behind this build is actually quite simple. We can look at it through a hole in the back of my monitor. When the mouse is clicked, it sends a redstone signal to this line of hoppers and droppers. Depending on the item, it will either emit a short pulse, or a long one. The reason that the water bucket and the stone block emit different pulse lengths is because since you can't stack water buckets, it recognizes it as a stack. And a stack has a longer pulse than a single item. When the redstone signal is first sent, it sets all the numbers to zero. If the pulse reaches the end, it means it was the long pulse from the water bucket and the pulse will trigger a command block which clones a banner, the number one, relative to its location. If you happen to catch a glimpse of this monster of a machine in the background, it's actually a project I'm working on for a future video. It's basically a conveyor belt design, which cycles through different output signals. I currently have it hooked up to a clock, but it can be rearranged so that the press of a button iterates through the list an element at a time. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribing would be appreciated as well.